Hello again, this is Tim Baldridge for another function of the day. Today we're going to talk about keep. And as always, let's start with looking at the doc string. The doc string says, returns a lazy sequence of the non-nil results of f and item. Note, this means false return values will be included. f must be free of side effects. Returns a transducer when no collection is provided. This uh, last part is actually added in 1.7. I'm running a copy of Closure 1.7. Uh, we'll talk about transducers later. But for now, let's talk about keep. So when you first look at keep, you may think, well, when would I really use this? I think the proper result, a uh, proper uh, way to think about this is to look at this pattern. Remove nil map f of seek. Okay? So let's think of a sequence here. Uh, let's do data, and data is range of um, 10. Um, now, what we could do is something like this. Keep odd of data. And what we get is true, false, true, false, true, false, true, false, true, false, true. Now, now, why do we get this? Well, see, what this the internals of keep does is it applies the function we give to each item in the sequence. And then instead of like filter or remove, instead of just filtering the items, it actually returns that item. So we're getting the actual true and false values instead. Now, when I first saw this function in use, I thought, nah, that's, that's a little bit hard to understand. Why would I use this? Well, I can think of actually one use case that I had recently where this actually made sense. And it was something like this. Let's uh, picture something like this. Data. A, B, uh, A, A, let's do this. Uh, B, B, C, C. So what we're doing here is we have a hash map of A, B, C, and uh, A, B, and C, right? So we can have a hash map of, of keys to values, and that's pretty standard, right? Now, what I was doing in this case is I would do something like this, map data. Data here is a hash map, which is a function. We could also do get in this case, but I'm not doing that in this case. Um, and we have A, C, F, G, B. Right, so if I run this, I get these nil values over here when this didn't uh, was when these uh, values didn't exist, when the keys didn't exist, and I wanted to filter those out. This is actually when writing some um, logic programming code. So I could do this filter. Um, I could do remove nil and run this, and I get my correct result. Or instead, what I could actually do is keep data. A, C, F, G, B. And when I run that, I actually get an error for some reason. Uh, why is that the case? Something's unbalanced here. Uh, let's let's clear that out and try this again here. Uh, and valid token up, ah, because I have a colon on the other side. There we go. So this is what we're looking for here. So it, it does a filtering, a removing, and a data mapping at the same time. And that's keep. So it's pretty simple. Um, if you find yourself mapping and then filtering, um, filtering out nil values, then this is this could be really helpful. Now, if you notice back in our first example here, uh, right here, um, argument must be. Oh yeah, we got to refine data. Here we go. So if you notice here, we have false, true, false, true, false, true, and this goes back to what we have here. Doc um, keep. There's something important here that says the non-nil results of f. This is pretty important because that means false return values will be included. Uh, so there are cases when it, it's not an actual logical true or false, true or falsy, truthy or falsy, if you want to think of it that way, uh, filtering. It's actually just uh, nil values that are removed. And that's great for things like a hash map or, or something along those lines. We can just pass this hash map in, in, say, keep, and anything that's not found in the hash map is removed from the sequence. And that works pretty well. So that's the function of the week, keep. Hopefully it's useful somewhere in your programming. Thank you for watching.